What's up boys, Enzo Mineral here and welcome to another Lego video and this is one of the only videos I've ever uploaded like this but hopefully if you do enjoy leave a like down below and I'll do more um, guys I am here, it's just sort of hard for you to see because of the camera angle but guys I'm before we saw from the title, um, today we're going to be looking at the top 5 weird Lego bricks that are actually useful I probably sound like someone from top 10 when I say that but first we're going to be looking at what we call the disconnected piece, probably not its actual name but you know it for its main purpose of taking apart. Well, that didn't work. Oh, well, we think we know it for its purpose. It's supposed to take away bricks. Obviously, it doesn't. There we go. You saw that. But when it, whenever you're just rummaging through your Lego, right? You see one of these. I always think, think, what am I gonna? What can I do with this apart from just using it for what it's built for? Let me move that. Um, what do I do with it? So I just had to think, and I'm like. They could make good roofs. So I had so many of these guys, but I don't want to find any more. But they actually make pretty sick roof. A pretty sick roof. They're pretty simple to build. Um, this bit's kind of lame, but I don't want to spend too much time on that. But the main concept of it is you attach a few with just some bricks. You know, um, I used four. You could use six, maybe even eight, depending on how many you have. I've got probably like maybe ten of these, but I just couldn't find them all. I didn't really want to because they're just annoying to always find when I'm looking for a piece. All I can find is these. And then I'm looking for them and I can't find them. It's always the way. So yeah, that is number five. Um, the disconnector, brick, remover, whatever you want to call it, guys. So yeah, that's that. Um, if I can just get that jumper plate off. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is actually this weird little bit. Now... If I can pick it up. I think people don't actually know what this is. Um, it looks sort of weird, but it turns out it's actually... I had to research. I didn't know what it was. But, um, it turns out... I don't like research now. When I first saw the piece, I'm like, what the heck is that? But I found out it's actually an ice skate. Like, if I just grab... Let's just say a Lego Minecraft skeleton, right? We grab another one. Um, I don't normally record like this, guys, so this is a bit weird. Sorry about that. But you just put these on. And, yeah, it's actually kind of mesmerizing because it, like, fits in between the studs. And you can just, like, actually skate around on. I call them studless. They're just the ones that um, don't have any studs on them. Um, like this one. This doesn't have any studs. I just call them stud. I just call it studless. Obvious reasons. And then a normal one. Just a normal studded one. I don't know what you would call a studless one. Whatever. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure they're around the Around, I can't speak today. I hope they're around the right way. They're probably not because I'm known for doing stuff like that wrong. But um, yeah, we're going to be looking at the next one. That was number two. We're going to be looking at number three. This weird piece. Now, at first, I had no idea what this is. At first, I thought maybe it's a seat from a cinema set because in cinemas, the seats kind of flip open and then they flip shut. I thought maybe it's a shut one. Then I was just building something and then I went... Looks like it'll fit on this. And it turns out that it's actually a saddle. And it goes on like that. The hooks at the back, you can add like whatever you want to that. And then the minifig actually stands on it. So it's actually a pretty cool piece. It's an older horse, so it actually does that. Um, they don't fit on the newer ones, only on the older ones. They don't make this go away notification. Um, I don't think they make these saddles or horses anymore. Um, so, I don't think they're like sort of rare, but it's just, oh, you know, now these two, these are weird. But the only, this one's probably weirder, but I don't even know what that is, guys. I haven't even done any research. But yeah, this saddle, pretty cool. That's number three. Let's move on to number two. Now, you've probably, in all your life with Lego, you've probably seen most of those. But I bet you, you haven't seen this piece. It's real, bleh. It's actually real Lego, as you can see. It says that. Well, what's weird about it? Is it's very unique. It only comes in one set, and it comes quite a few. Um, it actually comes in a big old set, pretty rare. I have to pick up the camera because I keep it in my room, which is also where I record. You might recognise this poster if you've seen some of my gaming. Um, well, I don't actually know how I built that. Leave a not built through that. Um, leave a like down below, guys. But this is just it's what's from. It's actually a foosball set on this commentator box I made. There's this is doesn't have that bit. And as you can see, my desk is a complete mess because I'm untidy person and then what they do is they actually go here and I cannot find the minifigure that goes on this one so I will try and find it but the basic concept of it in the foosball set is you get one of the balls right and then 
click always has um it did have I was doing something with rubber bands. Um I was actually doing like a rubber band Lego gun and I took the rubber bands off. But yeah, normally with rubber band you pull that back and hit it and then the ball will go roll in into one of these holes for the minifigure and then it'll go into that bit and you pull it back and bam it'll hit the ball. So it's a pretty cool piece. Um it's like sort of spring loaded because this bit's got like a spring in it. As you can see there. Weird weird piece. But yeah. So that's number two. Let's move on to number one. This weird bugger piece. Guys, if you even know what this is, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't even know what this is. It's like is it like a tr part of a trident? Is it like part of a sword? I don't even know. Which is why I've put it in number one. But I have a few suggestions. Is it a type of sword? Is it like a type of sword? Like, they don't go together. Which is a shame. It would be pretty cool if they did. But is it some type of sword? Is it like a fork? I'm just going to assume that it's a sword base. So we can have a, a one sword thing. A minifigure can hold that. I'll prove it by making this dude. Eh, if I can get that on. Look, he holds it. It's, it's all good. Oh, his hand just came off. You know, let's just keep that there. Maybe a fire sword. This just looks so cool. Like, if you're going to do like a heroes versus villains thing, make a villain hold this. Like, I don't even know what this piece is. I haven't seen it very much in any other sets that I've got. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking maybe, like, add a black piece that just goes down. Um, and, yeah, just make it, like, a trident or something. Uh, a piece of it, like, hang on. A piece of it, like, this. So this black set doesn't have that, and this black doesn't have that bit. And then just connect them like that. And then just, like, a trident thing. I don't know. Pretty sure trident's are more pointy from when my school did a um, <laughs> unit on Greek stuff but it's school why would i listen to that it's history history is boring so yeah guys it's gonna be the end of this video if you do enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe guys but before the video ends i'll be showing you some pretty cool i think it's pretty cool you might not but this is my rare minifigure collection guys i've got so these are like some of these are really rare um the first ones are these are actually lego simpsons ones that i don't know the names but there's this dude this dude this dude this dude's worth like this one here Right, this one is worth like 50 bucks by itself. And it's got like a three-eyed fish and all that. Then I've got this minifigure I created. This um, interesting one here. Then there's a Stormtrooper. Zombie I made myself as well. There's the Bang Dude. He's from the Lego movie. Um, it's like a... Uh, I forgot the name. Some American dude with like a weird thing on the back of his head anyway. We've got Good Cop, Bad Cop. The Where Are My Pants Dude. And this cool robot with a really really cool hand like it's just it's got one of them like claw pieces in it i'll just it's really hard holding a camera with one hand it's like one of these bits you know what these are yeah there's another weird piece i'm just gonna no he can be wasted um i'll fix that later guys but for now guys i hope you did enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe guys and turn on post notifications i'll be uploading tomorrow as well this is the second upload today then I love recording, guys. But, guys, if you want to see more vlogs, more stuff like this, and more gaming, make sure to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.